Hey! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we finally got him. My God, we've had such a frantic week that we didn't get a chance to review this after we Keeping saw it. Faith. The last episode. And lots revealed. We found out about the pink coat. Madeline is fun. finally, we've understood what's going on there. Um, and I wasn't yes. entirely. Well, what we've discovered is that Evan is a bad boy. Well. Or is he? I still can't quite work out. He was still caught up in stuff, wasn't he? Well, that he was he caught was... up in stuff, but what, what was his involvement with the, the plastering girl? Let's go from the top. Okay, from the of top. Of your notes. Because so if we... we go straight into okay. the middle, well, we're we going to get started... ourselves more confused than we were watching yeah. it. We started brilliantly with uh, Eve Miles screaming angrily at her blonde lawyer friend. They sort of had a huge spat, oh, didn't they, at the great. beginning? As I've always said, the thing that I love about this, one of the things I love about this series is the really, really well-played female relationships, relationships between each other. Yeah. Uh, Eve and her, the lawyer friend, and also her friend. We haven't seen enough of her I'd in the dark. I'd yeah. Because we've seen some, but I love their relationship. That's I could have done with a bit more. That's because her friend two. is not being her father-in-law. Exactly, so that got confused. But the friend is fantastic. She's such a good actress. Oh, she's such a good actress. Yeah. And I think I love, what I love, I, I can't get enough of the actress Eve Miles, Faith, giving the finger. She gave the finger to her, uh, her lawyer friend from the car. She's the kind of woman you don't want to get into a fight with in the car. Do you know yeah. what I mean? She'll give you the finger. Um, so, yeah, that was all good. Them getting very angry with each other, heading into prison, shoving their passports in their faces, yeah. going in and, and sort of, you know, Madeline, the whole story of Madeline unfolds. Um, here's the thing. We then move straight over to co the Corrin Industries or Corrin Energy or whatever it's called. And this is the deal that uh, Gail is seeking to uh, close off because uh, why? Why does she want Corrin Energy? Well, because obviously she wants to make money from it. She just wants she to wants make money. She wants it for two million quid and she's not having it for any... She, you no, know, she's not paying a penny over two Pelly million. cases of cash. Yeah. Fantastic. And that poor guy who ended up getting 750 instead of a million and really was a, six million. No, no. Yeah, it was all, that was all very sad. It was all very sad. And there was, there was at the centre of it all Faith doing the deal, brokering yeah. the deal. She knew about it all along. Thinking that it's going to get her away finally from Gail, but then Gail says no, she wants more, which I don't understand because Gail wants Evan. You would think she'd want to get rid of. Um... Maybe that's what she symbolically meant when she said the debt's got bigger. Maybe the debt owed is Evan. Evan. Mm. Um, yeah, the debt to Gail got bigger. I thought Gail got Gail sort of took a, an even nastier turn for the worse. She actually killed her. Was he her brother, the guy from Ireland? He was, wasn't he? He's got the same surname as her. That scene where, where she yeah. where she she just kills him. Yeah. She just cold bloodedly killed him, just yeah. strangled him. Yeah. I mean there's people up in arms about the crucifixion in Peaky Blinders. Why is no one angry about Gail? Are they? Up yeah, they're so shocked by the violence. And here was Gail just on the floor. Yeah, just but it wasn't the violence him. of no, Peaky Blinders. Come no, on, let's kill you. So, um, so Baldini oh, taped hang on a minute. Her. Yeah, Baldini taped her. But then let's not forget, there was a fabulous moment where the heavies took, e, uh, took Faith to the cash point. He had a little bit of a grope of her bum. And she kicked the shit out she of him. The sh we love that. She kicked the badoolies out I was out like, of yeah! I was thinking of all the times people have groped me or leered at me and I was thinking, that's what I would have done. You do that to me every time I do. You yeah. always hit me. It's terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought that was good. A nice bit of kind of bold, brash action. She's a she's feisty woman, isn't she, Our Faith? You're not going to mess with her. Um, and then, then we have that subplot of the, the sort of uh, trafficked individuals, isn't it? So it's Slatan and, and the girl. Um, and girl was, so was the suggestion or the inference, I, I lost this bit a bit, was Evan the trafficker? Trafficking. He was trafficking people, but we don't know well, to what extent no, but he's only, got a gun Well, only in that he's caught up with Gail, which I have never really understood how he got caught up with Gail in the first place. Right. That's what I've lost through the two series. I can't remember yes. why he was initially. Obviously, she got him to do some dirty dealings as a lawyer, as yes. a solicitor, but then I don't really understand why he's so beholden to her. Yes. Um, but it was revealed, wasn't it? Because when he said to the uh, detective, yeah. you know, that I can hand her over for trafficking, for yes. embezzlement, for this, for that, for murder. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that, and then you had the subplot of the cop from Swansea, the black guy. He, he I kind of got a bit confused with that as well. Yeah. I didn't really understand. He, at one well, he's point just it... obsessed with wanting Gail. Yes. And so he was using. But he doesn't get Gail. He was Gail, using does he? Evan no. to get Gail. So that's why he took the photos that's of right. him snogging because he wanted to show his yeah. wife. He's obsessed with getting Gail. Mm. 
Um, if I'm really honest, I was less interested in the plot in this season than I was in the first season. But I was, there was a moment, there was yet again, the absolute strength, I thought, of this episode was that scene in the home where really uh, Eve Miles and Bradley Freegard are playing, playing, you know, real life husband and wife, are playing these really intimate scenes of non-dialogue where, you know, he's having to leave or feeling it's over. And I felt, I could, I could feel so much in yeah, those yeah, scenes yeah. of the way Very they were looking powerful. at each other, channeling their own issues with each other. I'm sure she's frightening and around, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, and I just felt they were really highly charged. And I think one yeah. of the episodes you won't hear when I watched it and I did the review on my own, the most well, the most powerful episode for me was when Evan came home and her yeah. negotiating her, yeah. oh, her desire brilliant. to have him back and not yeah. have him back. And I, th I felt that was here again, yeah, you know, yeah, when he went I to did. sort of put the knife in himself. Said, Please yeah. don't, you felt she her went, love. don't do that here in front of the children. Absolutely, very it's selfish. Great. And I think yeah. I have to say a big shout out to the kids the kids have played this oh, beautifully all of the children but also that again is testament to uh eve's um, yes. uh, performance because she's so is she what you call a generous kids? actress oh god she yeah. is isn't she you feel that well, she, if she's at the epicenter of your scene you know you're going to be sort of i don't know yeah. kind of looked after um now evan's dad He's clearly the talk of the town, isn't he? He's clearly a good get. Everyone's after him. I mean, I have to confess, I was after him on the first series, but boy, he he's got a, his he's pick a, of the ladies. He's a man of means. He's, he's a man attractive. Of means. He's, he's got attractive. salt and pepper hair. Salt and pepper he's hair. definitely what you want in later life when you're sort of just thinking, oh, well, I'll, I'll, there's, I'm not going to get everything on my list, so I'll get what I can. Oh, Jesus. All That's right. what she's done. All right, okay. Mm. God, I hope I sustain that sort of level of need. Um, and so, anyway, so he dumps uh, Faith's friend with a view that you would to die for. I'm sure I've eaten in that hotel as well when I filmed there. Um, and then uh, the woman who ate the cake, the receptionist. Sorry, that was the biggest. I did not believe that for one oh, did you not? second that he felt the same way about his show. Narrative. No sign of I it know what whatsoever. You mean. It's been a it was a massive cold. leap for the actor. It was a ma massive yeah, leap. It was a bit of... I mean, of course, she's done it brilliantly. That yeah, well, poor she's... actress, very underused because she's a very good actress and she was only given hints. I didn't like that. I felt that was just stitching up a nice little ending that right. we hadn't been given. Yeah, so I felt we'd no seen it coming from her, but we didn't see it necessarily yeah. coming from him prior to that. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And, uh, you know, so the whole film sort of built to... So clearly Baldini... Baldini is now Faith's new man. I mean, he's essentially... Yeah. But, do you know it what was it great felt? when he taped Gail? Oh. Oh, I loved that when he just went... But can, I, can I make a suggestion? I, so everyone's clearly gone, and we're not, you know, like you say, he's, we don't know to what extent he's got no choice. Yeah. Choices. What choices has he got? Even right down yeah. to him possibly, you know, kissing Gail and all because that. Because there kind were of stuff. moments when we thought, oh God, he really wants to kiss Gail, but then when he said to the detective, she, we're dealing with a person that cares about nothing yes. and no one, and da da da, you know, you felt that he. To the point that she kills her brother. Yeah, that he mean, disliked know. her intensely. He dislikes her intensely. So he's so, obviously had to, to have, I mean, he's obviously had to have sex with her, had to kiss her. And you could argue that Faith has had to deceive as much as Evan ever has. I mean, Faith is as kind of tied into having to do things with all the money in bags and all this kind of stuff as Evan was. So, you know, you know, it's fair enough damning him, but she's in the same sort of fix, isn't she? Where mm. she's sort of got no choices. So if she's got no choices, maybe Evan's got no choices. And now he's been turfed out. I had a little sense in Baldini's last little moment that he wasn't entirely to be trusted. Did you feel that? I felt that. I think we, there's more going to be revealed. That's I think season sure. three is on its way. Yeah. I think there's going to be a baby Baldini. A baby Ooh. Baldini? Maybe a baby Baldini. Anyway, as ever, I think the, the absolute strength of cast in this has been great. They've all been yeah. absolutely wonderful. And I, we love being utterly confused. We, we do like being confused. I prefer. I think I ultimately preferred the plot and arc of the first series, season, but only because it had that central mystery at its core of where is Evan. And that was a very strong and ambiguous core to keep rotating around. I found myself, if, if I'm honest, getting a little bit irascible with the finer details of the plot in this and just w really wanting more and more scenes of, of relationships. Because I yeah. think the relationships in this series are really, Being really well drawn unbelievable. and strong. Unbelievable. We really don't need strong. as much plot. We don't need, need as much, much plot. I really love the relationships because you've got just a powerhouse of actors there with, with really strong characters. But anyway, that's the end of Faith, Keeping oh, Faith. We'll oh. have something new next week that we will be reviewing and supporting. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.